Hello and welcome to this new video from Suomen Yrittäjät. Today we are talking about entrepreneur new reform of UL insurance. Hello Eva. Hello. Beginning of this year a new reform is in place and it's about entrepreneur insurance, uh, pension insurance. Why do we need a reform? Yes, uh, the goal of the reform is to improve the pension and social security of uh, self-employed people. And this means that uh, we have to make sure that the uh, YL income uh, is uh, corresponding to the actual work input of self-employed people. And with the new law, uh, the pension insurance companies are actually obligated to do this by regularly reviewing uh, YL insurances real incomes and if needed then uh, just them. Can I as an entrepreneur affect this adjustment? Uh, yes you can and how the process goes is that in the first, first year of reviews uh, the pension insurance companies will review the incomes that are under 15,000 on the okay. insurances and um, also another general rule is that if you have not made a change to your YL income on your insurance in the past three years, then your, yours will be reviewed. And in the review, we will compare your current YL income to a recommended YL income level. And the recommendation, uh, we get it from uh, the median salary in your business sector. And if those two are in line, that they correspond, then um, the review is over and no change is made. But if they are not corresponding, then the pension insurance company will send you a proposal for a new YEL income. Okay, I have received the proposal, but I didn't really react. What happens? Yes, uh, we are, of course, hoping that if, if you need to react, you will do it when you get the proposal. And at that point, you have the chance to uh, respond and you can also give additional information regarding your situation if there are some factors that should be taken into consideration when determining your YEL income. Um, but if, if you do not do that, then uh, you will get the decision from the pension insurance company that states what is your new YEL income. And uh, of course, you can still uh, appeal at that point, but it's a more complicated process at this point. So we really hope that if, if you have some additional information, for example, that you want to give, you will give it at the point when you get the proposal. So I should engage actually with my pension insurance company. But then, as you mentioned, there are some factors that might enable me to affect the proposal. Can you please give us some examples? Uh, it can be, for example, about uh, your skills, about your competence, uh, or it can be about your work input. Uh, if, for example, you are not working full-time, it's maybe just part-time, mm -hmm. or if there is somebody assisting you with your job, that it's, it's not solely your input that should be considered in the YL income. These are some examples. But you can give detailed information about your specific situation, and based on that, uh, the pension insurance, insurance company makes an overall assessment of your situation and then uh, confirms the income. Okay, now we have already went through uh, the proposal together with my pension insurance company and I have reached the correct level of my uh, UL or pen, uh, entrepreneur pension insurance according to uh, my profession uh, level. And uh, what kind of, at this point, other benefits other than waiting till I'm on pension and to get a pension, what kind of other benefits that I may actually get during my entrepreneurship journey? Yes. Well, uh, first of all, uh, YL insurance is a statutory uh, pension insurance. So if you're self-employed, person, uh, you are responsible for taking out one in, if you meet the criteria for it. And uh, like you said, maybe the best known uh, part of it is yeah. the pension coverage. Exactly. And, and that means that you accrue pension for your uh, retirement. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, this means that uh, once you reach your set retirement age, you will get pension, which is based on the different 
YEL income levels that you have had throughout your insurance history. But this, this is years ahead for some people. Yes. And, and what is closer and in the present is the social security part of the insurance. And this means, for example, if you get sick or if you get unemployed or maybe take a parental leave, um, you have to consider your YEL income because uh, when those instances uh, who calculate and grant the allowances uh, make the calculations, they base it on the YEL income. YEL. And that's why it is very important to keep this in mind and also make sure that your YEL income is at the right or sufficient level, level. at all times because mm -hmm. you never know what happens. Yes. So as you define also during your talk YEL, it's a promise to uh, pay either pension when you get to the retirement age or some securities if something happens like unemployment or maybe uh, sickness or so on. But what is UL income? Um, YEL income is uh, actually the monetary value of your work input. Okay. And uh, as a rule of thumb, um, it is the amount of salary that you would pay if you hired somebody uh, who is as competent as you to do the work that you're doing. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that's, that's the basis of it. But now with the law reform, uh, we also have this calculating tool that is really helpful so you can determine uh, the YEL income. And this tool is available for everybody. For example, on ELO's website, you can get an access to the calculating tool and uh, enter your information and see what is the recommended YEL income level for yourself. To my profession? Yes. So it would give me kind of an estimate where I am and where I should be? It gives you a recommendation okay. what would be the very right good. level. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much, Eva. And thank you very much, uh, everyone, for this uh, video. And uh, I recommend to visit Suomen Yrittäjät Pistafi for more information. We have abundance of resources. Thank you again and till next time.